Once upon a time in a land called Brookhaven, there was a beautiful kingdom. It was ruled by a generous King Louis and his loving queen named Sophia. The king was famous for his bravery, while Queen Sophia was known for her unmatched beauty. The people of Brookhaven adored her, and she adored them in return. But one day, a dark cloud of illness cast its shadow above the Queen Sophia. Despite the best efforts of healers and doctors, she grew weaker day by day. Until one fateful day she passed away. The entire kingdom mourned the loss of their beloved queen. Sophia left behind two precious twin daughters, Genesis and Eleanor. They were just like their mother with a memorizing beauty, but their personalities were completely opposite from one another. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. When skies are gray Ugh, can't she just get quiet for one little bit? Ugh, I'll teach her a good lesson You'll never know, dear How much I love you Daddy, Daddy! Genesis is singing so loud! It's distracting me from my studies! <sighs> She'll never change. Let's go. Please don't take my sunshine away. Genesis! Uh, yes, Daddy? How many times do I need to tell you? You're not allowed to stay outside of your room, especially when Eleanor is trying to study. Dad, I didn't know she was... Well, then you should know that Eleanor is the only one who's taking interest in studies. Unlike you, you failed your kindergarten for almost fifth time now. Oh, I just can't wait for you to turn 18 so I can get you married off to the Prince of Bloxburg. I'm so sorry, Dad. It's just... Whenever I try to study something, I can't concentrate enough. And besides... Singing is my true passion! Enough with your nonsense, Princess Genesis! You think you'd be allowed to sing some dumb songs in the street for commoners to earn some bucks? Never! But why can't I, Daddy? Mommy loved to sing as well! You never stopped her! I think Daddy already made his point clear. Just stop thinking your singing will get you somewhere because it's terrible! Ugh, anyways... I don't have time for this. I have an important exam tomorrow, and I'm going to study now. Bye, guys. You've been warned, Genesis. You have already been trapped in this palace. Don't make me have you only to your room. But... Princess Genesis was the most kind princess in the family. Meanwhile, Princess Eleanor was the opposite of her. She used to mistreat her servants, and Princess Genesis was the only person they could go to to ask for help. Months turned into years, and Princess Eleanor was famous all over the town for her intelligence and the news of her enrolling in the biggest university of Roblox spread across the kingdom. Princess Genesis, however, Hiding her pain was cheering for her sister, but never did she imagine that her fate would bring her to something most unexpected. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous for today, Clara. I feel like I haven't prepared anything for the test. I know, right? I feel the same. What should I do? Oh, should I just tell the teacher that my dog ate my assignment and so I couldn't learn the lesson? Bruh, as if that's ever going to work. Mr. Patrick sent the test to the whole academy yesterday, so there's no way we can come up with any excuses. Oh no, what now? Oh, I got an idea! What? Tell me! Hey, girls! <laughs> Here walks in the idea herself. 
Oh my god, you're so right! Sup, girls? Oh, Clara, I love your dress today! I know, right? I got it from… Such a boring color, though… Anyways… Have you girls prepared for the chemistry test today? We have, but it feels like we don't remember anything at all! <laughs> As expected. Don't worry, girls, I've got you both! Oh my gosh, does this mean you'll… Mm-hmm. I'll just help you girls with the optional questions! Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Look at that nerdy freak. Such a nerd she is. She needs to learn to be more like me. Beauty with brains. But eh, nobody can ever beat me anyway. You girls know what to do, right? Oh, we sure do. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do this. Good morning, little freak! Thinking about how to beat my score again? Uh, what's your problem, Eleanor? How dare you talk like that to the princess, you little commoner! Exactly! You should know your place! Well, I didn't do anything to disturb you girls' privacy, did I? Then why don't you girls stay out of my business? You've said that once, but don't you dare! Say that to me ever again. I can suspend you from this school in one second and even ruin your whole reputation in just one blink of an eye. <sighs> just leave me alone and let me do my work. Say what again? <laughs> hey, stop it! Let's get out of here, girls. <sighs> yeah, right. They're gonna run away like little mice anyway. Hey, are you okay? <sighs> I am now. Thank you so much for helping me, Prince Kevin. Hey, you don't have to call me that, okay? Just call me Kevin, or just Kev. Can you tell me why they're bullying you? It's just... Princess Eleanor thinks that I'm trying to compete with her, which is not true at all. I'm just here to get a chance to help my grandma. You're doing so great, Bree, and I can see your efforts. To be honest, I really dislike her. I dislike such self-centered type of people, and especially when Eleanor tries to downgrade people under her. She's always been like this ever since I've known her. You're just too kind, Prince Kev- I, uh, I mean, Kevin, or Kev. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. You can call me anytime they try to bully you next time. I'll be there for you. Thank you so much, Kev. I'll never forget this. <sighs> I guess some people never change. I don't get it, Eleanor. Why do you always seem so nervous around Kevin? Yeah, I've noticed that quite a bit too. Because he's really... Special. Huh? How? Hey! Watch out! Oh no! I. <laughs> I'm all right. Are you all right? I. I guess I am. Wait. Are you the Prince of Bloxburg? Oh. I'm so glad you know about me. Of course! Everyone here talks about your amazing skills in poetry, and especially your beautiful voice! Nah, now you're just over-exaggerating. <laughs> but I do enjoy singing songs to my horses sometimes. Ew, that's so... disgusting. Ugh. Get your act together, Eleanor. He's the Prince of Bloxburg. You need to impress him! Aww, that's so sweet! I'd love to hear you sing one day. How is he special? You girls just won't get it. Let's head to class now. Hey! Wait for us! 
All right, students, it's time to reveal the results of your previous chemistry test, and let's see who scored the best. Hmm. Oh. Piper and Clara as the third, as always. Congratulations, girls. Ah. Just a single score away. But hey, you got the second position once again. Briella Grande, congratulations. Thank you, sir. And the first position goes to... Prince Kevin. What the? Ow! Oh my gosh. I can't believe Eleanor wasn't even on the list. I know, right? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> That's all right, girls. It's Prince Kevin Scott. He deserved it anyway. Are you even going to notice me? Congratulations to the position holders. Now please prepare yourself for today's test. Best of luck. Wait, don't you girls think Brio is getting better at studies every day? Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right. Maybe she's really going to be the first one to beat Eleanor. Who knows? I really hope she doesn't. You know what? A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, right? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> Let's go. You don't deserve it! You don't deserve any of it! I hope you burn and rot in there! No, please! Eleanor, I didn't do anything! Please don't do this to me! My grandma must be worried for me! Please, let me go! Hey, Elle, I don't think it's right. Her grandma might get really worried about her. This seems like too much at this point. So, what you gonna do? The decision is all yours. Um, I sure am. No, please, don't leave me like this. <sighs> Fine, I'm coming with you. No, wait! Oh my god! Help! It's an emergency! There's a girl fainting in the bathroom! Such negligence. I find it hard to believe this is all happening in our academy. Never happened once in 32 years. This is the first time we're encountering this. We find a girl fainted inside a restroom. I want you all to stand up for her justice if you saw it happening. Or else the girl's grandmother is taking a huge step on them, and the result could also be suing them. <laughs> As if that would be any difficult for my royal family. So is there anyone who wants to fight for her justice? I have witnessed it all happening, Mr. Principal! Please, come up on the stage. all happening, everyone, and it was none other than our very own princess, Princess of Brookhaven, Eleanor! How dare she? What the heck is she even doing? 
Even though I tried my best to stop her, but she didn't. I want to fight for that poor girl's justice, and I am also guilty for helping my friend bully her. Thank you so much for standing up for her, Piper. We really appreciate it. You can take your place now. <clears throat> Everyone leave the hall room right now! Except Miss Eleanor! Psst. Hey! Where do you think you're going? I'm sorry, Eleanor. I can't help you with this anymore. That poor girl didn't do anything to you, yet you still did this to her. Out of jealousy and hatred. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Hey! Don't leave me here! Princess Eleanor, do you want to explain yourself here? Ugh, why did you have to make it such a big deal? She only fainted! She didn't pass away! Just so you know, she's fighting for her life in the hospital. She almost died out of exhaustion, and it turned out she had a breathing problem. And being inside a small restroom didn't make it any better for her. Still, it's not much of a big deal anyway. My dad will probably pay their hospital fee and it'll be all good. It sure will, but... What about your reputation now? What are you going to do to change that, hmm? I wish to suspend you from the school, but since you're the princess, we can't do anything. But I wish you all the best for facing the problems that are coming for you. Grandma, I don't think I can survive anymore. I wish I could teach her a good lesson, but I'm too weak. I love you so much, Grandma. Oh, Lord. I come before you with a heavy heart, burdened by the pain my beloved granddaughter Brielle has endured at the hands of Princess Eleanor. She has suffered greatly, and I implore you, dear God, to touch the heart of Princess Eleanor with your wisdom and kindness. I do not seek revenge, dear Lord, but rather I pray for enlightenment and a change of heart for Princess Eleanor. May she learn the true meaning of compassion and kindness so that no one else may suffer as my dear Brielle has. In your boundless wisdom, I place my trust, praying for a brighter and more compassionate future for all. Amen. Did you hear what Princess Eleanor did to Brielle? It's shameful! Yeah, it's terrible! She deserves to be called out for it. I heard Brielle was in tears. How could she? I'm Princess Eleanor, and I can do whatever I want. What's going on here? Oh, look who's here, our beloved princess. I'm the fairest of them all. <laughs> stop it! Just stop! Princess Eleanor, open your eyes! Happened. Where am I? Are you even present in the class? I... Uh, um... Yes, sir. Oh, really, huh? Then mind solving this problem on the board? Um... Um... <laughs> she doesn't know anything other than bullying. I know, right? I can't believe she's ruining the reputation of the royal family! Sorry, sir. I don't know how to solve the equation. Of course, you're not going to do it. Because, guess what? You were just sleeping during my class. My apologies, sir. I'll be more careful next time. You better be. Now take your seat. Sorry about that, Miss Princess. <laughs> I hope you burn and rot in there. No, please! Eleanor, I didn't do anything! Please don't do this to me! My grandma must be worried for me! Please, let me go! <laughs> D 
down from the sky The day you left me An angel cried Ow! Princess Genesis! Are you okay? <laughs> oh, Mary, it's just a small cut. Don't worry. But it's bleeding! Let me get a bandage, your highness! Mary, you've known me since we were kids. You don't need to call me your highness when it's just us. I know, but I can't help it. You're the princess now. Well, to me, you're still my dearest friend. Now, don't cry. It's just a tiny cut. Please be more careful, princess. I mean, Genesis. <laughs> I promise, Mary. By the way, how's your family doing? They're well, thanks to your family's kindness. We're forever grateful. We're all part of the same family, Mary. And we'll always look out for each other. Now, let's not waste any more time. I need to finish making this for Eleanor. You know, it's her favorite. <laughs> you're so kind, Genesis. Eleanor never treated you as her own, even though you're her twin sister. But you do so much for her happiness. I wish I could do something for you. <sighs> it's not like that, Mary. Eleanor cares about me. It's just... She has a different way of showing it. You can't keep lying to yourself, Genesis. I've seen you crying late at night in your rooms. All your freedom and your dreams have been scattered away. You don't deserve this present life. It feels so sad because even the world doesn't know that there's another princess in the kingdom of Brookhaven. The kindest, the most beautiful. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough praising me for today. Let's get back to work, shall we? Sure. <laughs> oh no. <coughs> Water, please. Here, Father. Drink this. Thank you, Genesis. Father, your cough. It sounds worse today. Shouldn't we call the physician? No, Genesis. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. But, Father, your health is important. We must take care of you. I worry more about Eleanor. She has to be ready for her upcoming responsibilities. Is she home yet? Um, not yet. But I'm sure she'll be here soon, Dad. But please remember, I'm here for you too. You're a dutiful daughter, Genesis. But Eleanor, she's going to be the crown princess of this palace after I dispatch. I get it. She deserves the position anyway. But please take care of yourself. We don't want to lose you. If you need anything, just let me know. Thank you, Genesis. You're a source of strength for me. Oh no, Eleanor is here! Uh, oh, oh no, she seems off today as well. No, Dad, you stay right here. I'll go see her. Make sure to serve her lunch properly! Uh. Eleanor? What's going on here? Genesis, stay out of it. I had the worst day at school, and Mary just had to bother me! Princess, I... I just wanted to ask how your day was. I don't want to talk about it! And you, Mary! You're useless! Eleanor, I understand you had a tough day. Let's talk about it. Maybe I can help. You'll never understand, Genesis! You're perfect, and everyone loves you! Eleanor, I'm not perfect. And I'm here to support you. But hurting Mary won't make your day better. You can't fix everything, huh? Well, you can't! <laughs> Thank you, Princess. You're always there for me. Mary, are you okay? I'm so sorry for all of this. <laughs> it's not your fault, Princess. Eleanor's just having a hard time. How dare they? How dare she push me like that? <laughs> I'm going to teach her a good lesson. <coughs> she... she can't. Genesis, I... I can't lose her. Father, you have to stay strong. Eleanor needs us now. It's just so hard, Genesis. She's my daughter. My little girl. 
I know, Father. We all love her, and we're praying for her. We have to believe in her strength, Father. You're right, Genesis. I have to be strong for her. Her condition is stable, but she hasn't regained consciousness yet. How long will she be like this, Doctor? Eleanor is a fighter. Is there anything we can do to help her wake up? We'll have to monitor her closely. Sometimes, it just takes time. There's no change for now. Let's give her some time. Time. It feels like an eternity. We won't give up on her, Father. We'll be here for her as long as it takes. Please allow me to leave, Your Highness. Ah, you may leave. Thanks, Doctor. Eleanor, please. Wake up, my dear. You have to. Let's give her some time to recover, Dad. As the doctor said, it will take some time. But she'll be alright. But what about her school? Her education? She needs to be perfect to be the queen of this kingdom in the future. Wait. I have an idea. Um, what do you mean, Dad? Genesis, I want you to go and attend classes on Eleanor's behalf. Can you do that? Huh? What? What are you even saying, Dad? How- Please, Genesis. You're her twin sister. You can easily pretend as Eleanor and attend her classes on her behalf until Eleanor fully recovers. But, Dad- I haven't even studied for so many years. How am I supposed to achieve her scores? Don't worry about it. You can try as hard as you want. And if you failed any of the subjects, I'll get it covered. You just need to attend the classes being as Eleanor. Please, dear. You have to do this. For your sister. I... <sighs> I'm up for it. Thank you so much, my dear. I'm sure Eleanor would be so happy once she finds out about this. I should get everything prepared for tomorrow morning. And that was it. Everything changed. Genesis' life changed all in just one night. The next day, she was determined to attend school for her sister, being as her, hoping to see any light coming. There she comes again! Wait, what? Are they all talking about me? I mean, Eleanor? What's going on? Why is everyone looking at me so... aggressively? To dark days, do you have a tear to spill? A voice coming from the window of King Lewis's castle. It was... Eleanor? <laughs>